द अल्टीमेट शो डाउन विल पाकिस्तान होस्ट एशिया कप 2023? एशिया कप हैज ऑलवेज बीन एन एंटिसिपेटेड इवेंट इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ क्रिकेट अनलाइक अदर स्पोर्ट्स इट इज द ओनली कॉन्टिनेंटल चैंपियनशिप इन क्रिकेट इट ऑल स्टार्टेड इन 1984 व्हेन द फर्स्ट एशिया कप वाज हेल्ड इन शारजा यू ए सिंस देन इट हैज बीन थर्टी नाइन ईयर्स एंड येट the clouds of uncertainty roam around this year's asia cup that is to be held in pakistan in september are you ready to experience the thrill of uncertainty as we dig into the asia cup's mysterious fate will pakistan rise to challenge and host this year's most sought after event amidst a sea of doubt the stakes are high as the battle of egos and excuses escalates leaving everyone wondering who will come out on top but the burning question remains where will this epic showdown take place if pakistan is unable to step up to the occasion in this video we will explore a brief history of the asia cup and uncover why it has become the bone of contention this year before we move on please subscribe to the stumps on channel to enjoy more videos from our cricket vaults without further ado let's get into it the battle for supremacy a thrilling retrospective of asia cup's glorious history the first asia cup under the banner of asian cricket council was held 39 years ago in sharja since then it has gained immense popularity it is not only anticipated in asian cricketing nations but also across the globe for its high octane and nail biting matches furthermore asia cup matches have been granted official match status by icc so far 15 editions of the Asia Cup have been played with the 16th scheduled to be played in Pakistan in September 2023 it started as an ODI format tournament but eventually it was decided in 2009 that it will be a biennial tournament with ODI and T20 to be held on a rotational basis in 2016 the first T20 format Asia Cup was played in Bangladesh Bangladesh has hosted 5 Asia Cups the most number for any country after that the United Arab Emirates and Sri Lanka hosted it 4 times each whereas India and Pakistan have hosted it only once this year it will be in ODI format although Pakistan have been involved in the most thrilling and nail biters but it is India who is truly the champion of this tournament as they have backed 7 titles Sri Lanka trailing them with 6 titles and Pakistan has only been able to back 2 titles. Clash of Titans between India and Pakistan. It all started back in October 2022 when Jay Shah, president of the Asian Cricket Council, announced that Asia Cup 2023 will take place at a neutral venue. This came as a shocker to all, but particularly to Pakistan Cricket Board. They were not expecting such a unilateral approach from the president of the Asian Cricket Council Jay Shah. The then chairman of the PCB Ramiz Raja voiced his concern that the president of ACC should have consulted the hosting party before releasing his statement. Raja said that Jay Shah should act like the president of ACC instead of advocating for the board of control for cricket in India. Upon further developments It was stated by the BCCI that India could not travel to Pakistan because of security threats. In reply, the chairman of the PCB said that it was not a matter of security. Ramiz Raja threatened that if India has security concerns, so did Pakistan. Therefore, if India backs out, Pakistan will also not travel to India for the World Cup. Many cricketers, journalists and sports pundits jumped in and started mapping out the possibilities that what would be the future of the Asia Cup 2023. It was a long stalemate that ended when the new incumbent chairman of PCB Nizam Sethi voiced his concerns that this way was not the way to move forward. Nizam Sethi in an interview with a well-known Indian sports journalist Vikrant Gupta said that Jay Shah should not be deciding Asia Cup 2023 unilaterally. He further added that such precedents will only harm the game of cricket as billions of cricket fans want to watch arch rivals Pakistan and India compete against each other. The stance of PCB has been very clear from day one that security is not the issue. Politics is playing its part in the game because top ranked team like Australia, England, New Zealand and South Africa have visited Pakistan. There were no security issues. 
In fact, teams were given president level security. The security of Pakistan has also been admired by Virender Sehwag. In an interview in which he said, Pakistan gave us presidential level security protocol during the 2008 Asia Cup. However, from the current saga, former chairman BCCI Anurag Thakur has said that India will not be traveling to Pakistan. So is the stance of the current BCCI management. Breaking boundaries. Proposal for Asia Cup to go hybrid. In recent ACC meetings, Pakistan has proposed a hybrid model as well just to go ahead with the Asia Cup 2023 as per schedule. The proposed model by Najam Sethi suggested that all other teams should play their matches in Pakistan whereas India can play their matches in UAE or Sri Lanka. Apart from India, no other participating team has voiced any concerns regarding security or any other issue. At this moment, it's BCCI who is suggesting that either the Asia Cup should be played at a neutral venue or India will withdraw because they won't be traveling to Pakistan for sure. Other possible venues could be UAE, Oman and Sri Lanka. But the weather and other playing conditions have to be kept in mind. So far, PCB has responded with probable solutions to facilitate BCCI but they are outrightly declining all proposals. After deliberate discussions, PCB has hinted that if there are undue changes in the Asia Cup, they will be compelled to think about travelling to India for the World Cup. Race against time Asia Cup's uncertain schedule Pakistan has never put forward the preposition of playing at neutral venues for any tournament. It is on record that during the ICC ODI World Cup 2011 in India, PCB received seizable life threats yet they travelled to India for the World Cup. At one point, the threats became so severe that they had to relocate the venue to Kolkata for Pakistan's match. That being said, we feel that this is a stalemate and not a long-term solution for both India and Pakistan to not play or play with a hybrid model. Starting from Asia Cup, next up we have the ICC ODI World Cup in India. After that, Pakistan is bound to host the ICC Champions Trophy 2025. Will India also decline to travel to Pakistan then? Or will they propose a neutral venue once again? This is to be seen in the future. In all of the ICC and ACC tournaments, India and Pakistan are always pulled in the same group. This group without saying that this is the biggest rivalry in sports history and fans across the globe want to see more of India versus Pakistan. The stats, crowd, revenue and popularity all indicate that this is a high voltage competition where emotions are sky high. To deprive fans of this rivalry would be wrong. Politics on the pitch The thrilling tale of Asia Cup cancellations The Asia Cup has indeed seen its fair share of cancellations since its inception and one of the main reasons behind this has been the strained political relationships between the participating nations. Back in 1986, India decided to boycott the Asia Cup due to their tense relationship with Sri Lanka, which made it difficult for the tournament to go ahead. Likewise, Pakistan boycotted the Asia Cup due to political tensions between India in 1990. Unfortunately, this led to another cancellation of the tournament. But the issue of political tensions didn't stop there. In 1993, the Asia Cup had to be cancelled again due to the same reason. Fast forward to 2018 and we see that political tensions once again affected the Asia Cup. Again due to the strained relations between India and Pakistan. The PCB expressed concerns about the safety of its players. As a result, the tournament had to be shifted to the UAE. Political tensions have always played a significant role in the cancellations of the Asia Cup in the past. Will history repeat itself? All eyes on the Asia Cup 2023 turf. The question remains, if India and Pakistan can play each other, then why can't they play in India and Pakistan? A viable long-term solution has to be mapped out because the consequences of the Asia Cup 2023 will be unfortunate and unpleasant. Indian fans want to see Pakistani players perform in India. Pakistani fans want to cheer Virat, Rohit, Sky and company. Indeed, that will be a sight to behold for the world. But will that ever happen? I guess we will have to wait for that. Thanks for watching.